Real Madrid's recent match against Celta Vigo revealed significant concerns for the club, especially for the manager, Carlo Ancelotti. While the game may have entertained the neutral, it was anything but satisfying for the Real Madrid manager. The team's performance raised many questions, particularly regarding their defensive capabilities and the overall stability of the squad. For the majority of the game, it was Celta Vigo who posed the greater attacking threat. Real Madrid, despite their reputation as European champions, struggled to control the match. This struggle was reflected in their statistics. They managed only three shots on target from a total of 10 attempts. In contrast, Celta Vigo registered five shots on target out of 13 attempts. These figures highlight the troubling state of Real Madrid's performance, especially when they should be showcasing their superiority against such opponents. Interestingly, last night's outing was not just a one-off problem. It exposed ongoing issues within the team that have plagued them throughout the season. One of the biggest concerns has been the fitness of key players. Donny Carvajal's long-term injury has only worsened the situation, and with other players also struggling to stay fit, the team's defensive unit is being stretched thin. Despite these mounting problems, Real Madrid have consistently refused to sign new players in the January transfer window, sticking to their belief that bringing in new talent mid-season could disrupt team chemistry. However, given the current state of their defense, this reluctance seems more like a risk than a strategic decision. At this point, it is becoming increasingly clear that Real Madrid may need to rethink their approach and consider signing a new defender in January. Here's why. One of the most pressing concerns for Carlo Ancelotti is the underperformance of his current defenders. Injuries to key players like Carvajal and the delayed recovery of David David Oliva have left Real Madrid vulnerable at the back. Ancelotti has been forced to patch up his defense as best as he can, but the solutions have not been effective enough. Ader Militao, for instance, has been plagued by muscular problems, but due to the lack of competition for his position, he is forced to play despite not being fully fit. Without pressure from a capable competitor, Militao's performances have dipped below his usual standard. The same can be said for Antonio Rudiger. When he first joined Real Madrid, he had to compete with Nacho for a starting spot. This competition pushed both players to perform at their highest level. However, with Nacho no longer a direct rival, Rudiger has become too comfortable, and his performances, particularly on the left side of defense, have been inconsistent. The lack of depth and competition in defense is causing serious problems for Real Madrid, and it's affecting the team's overall stability. The defensive problems are not just limited to individual performances. As a unit, Real Madrid's defense has become increasingly fragile. The team is no longer able to maintain a compact shape, and the distance between the attack, midfield, and defense has grown, leaving large gaps for opponents to exploit. This was evident in the match against Celta Vigo, where there was a noticeable lack of coordination among the players. The situation could have been much worse if not for the heroics of Thibaut Courtois in goal, who made several crucial saves to prevent a defensive collapse. Real Madrid's defensive instability is not just a tactical issue, it is a crisis waiting to happen. If one more player gets injured, the situation could spiral out of control Ancelotti is already working with a thin squad, and any further absences would leave him with very limited options. Even the youth players who could potentially step in, like Joan Martinez and Jacobo Ramon, are currently sidelined with injuries. Real Madrid's defense is a ticking time bomb and the club can no longer afford to ignore it. Whether it is a fullback or a centre-back, the team urgently needs to bring in a new defender. The January transfer window offers the perfect opportunity to address this issue before it escalates further. Failing to do so could see Real Madrid's season derailed by injuries and underperformance. Ok guys thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned to this news channel. Also feel free to share your thoughts on the comments section on what you think. See you in the next news update.